Hi, this is Nick at Poor Pandas uh, Dog Daycare Centre. The other week you saw us start our training. Now we've got several episodes that are going to be shown over the following weeks. The first one, which is probably the most important of all of them, is lead work. Now, if you think about leads, all the lead is used for is because it's not safe. And that's paramount with all dog ownership. We're going to emphasise a few things today, which is the lead we use and why we use it. Tom is here today with me, who does most of our training. Okay, so these are the main leads we recommend here at Four Pounds Dog and Daycare. These are called slip leads. They're a very simplistic design that have been around since the dog has been domesticated. The reason they're still around is they are effective combined with training. They consist of three main parts. You have the handle, where your hand goes. You have the slide, which stops the loop opening too far the dog getting away, and the loop, which goes around the dog. This is your main connection between yourself and the dog out on a walk. The reason the lead is there is for control and safety. So firstly, I'm going to show you how the vast majority of people will walk their dogs. As you can see, we use the full extent of the lead, the arm outstretched, the dog is on the full extent of the lead, this means that the dog is using all of this space and we are lacking in control. The second we reduce that lead length down, we are already gaining, just on a standard lead, a lot more control of this animal. We're reducing the space it's allowed to move. And we're giving ourselves back that control of the dog's walking ability. So now you can see I've got my lead on a traditional slip lead. This is my catch hand. This hand is only here to catch the dog should I lose my primary hand. This is your control hand. This is not necessarily your dominant hand, but this is the hand that you have most control with. The grip is up to you, it's in the underhand or overhand, it does not matter, the technique is exactly the same. Position the slip lead is under the dog's chin, up behind the ears. The slide is down, stop the dog backing up and escaping from the slip lead. We start in the sit position, good solid foundation. Lovely, sit. Get the dog's focus on you as the handle. You are the beginning of the walk. Lovely, look at me. The wall. Tell the dog what you want it to do. Heel. I'm not allowing Muttley to bring my hand forward. I'm not applying constant pressure onto the lead. I'm just in control just enough. I want the dog to choose to walk next to me, not being forced to. If I need to correct the dog, I do so with a short, sharp tone. Ah! I then correct the dog the lead, which is a small pull, pull the chin up and remind the animal you are under my control, you are connected to me by the lead. Once the dog has recognised why we've stopped, we have a brief pause of five seconds. This pause is there so the dog realises we've stopped because I have pulled. The reward for walking nicely is more progress. Butley, sit, look at me, heel. We walk on. 